you're looking at. Diesel, look, look, I got my flip flops on. Very nice to have you. Here. Now, let me step on your feet. Very nice. What you looking at? What you looking at? Flowers? They do look nice, don't they? They do. Our grass is growing in a little, little better. All these uh, petals are falling off of this apple tree now. Making it look like some kind of romantic scene back here, like I was saying the other day. <laughs> we got a jungle next door. Makes me feel a little bit better about our lawn. I'm thinking about going over there and asking them if I can mow it for them. Commander. Are you finished? You still looking for the perfect spot? I mean, any spot's good at this point, man. Any spot. Chevy. Hey, Chev. How's your morning going? Chevy, are you swallowed? Did, did, did you chew any of it? Before you swallowed it? I don't think you chewed one bit. Diesel hasn't even gotten to the kernels yet. Good boys. The day is Monday. It's Victoria Day. Here in all across Canada. Well, actually, it's not all across Canada. Yeah, it's all across Canada, right? Except Quebec. Because <laughs> why would they celebrate Queen Victoria? <laughs> right? So in Quebec, it's National Patriots Day, I believe. Whatever that means. So it's a, it's a holiday either way. Who cares what we call it? It's a day off of work. The sun came out. It was supposed to be thunderstorms and raining all day today, and the sun came out which was a nice little treat. I just got all the yard work done, you may have noticed. Uh, I just want to let you know though, a little pro tip when you're doing yard work, it's a terrible idea to do it in heavy sweats that are made for wintertime. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but I wasn't thinking much. Anyways, what's done is done. I'm gonna go show you what I did. It's so nice that the yard work now only takes uh, about, you know, 30 minutes to an hour instead of three days, like it did at the old place. What's up, boys? Chevy, you wanna come see the yard? You wanna come? Come on, buddy. There you go. Well, all the rest of us are out here, wieners out here somewhere. So, uh, got all the grass cut. All the trimming done. Oh, there's a wiener. I know there's sunbathing himself. All along the fence here. Uh, the parts of the fence where the bottom of the fence didn't quite touch the ground because the ground isn't quite level. Uh, I just reinforced it with some one by sixes for now. Just so that the dogs can't, you know, like, so that the dog, the wiener over there, can't just, you know, slip under some of these spots. Had to do it in the corner here too. We ripped out this flower bed that was in here. 
gave it more space in here and uh, filled it all in with dirt because there was huge gaps underneath the fence there. Like this top of this board here, this is where the bottom of the fence was and there was like Wiener could just clear walk right underneath it without even touching it. So I had to build that up. Uh, ripped out the uh, flower beds or whatever we had back here. We had some rhubarb growing back here, ripped that out. So we just want this to be lawn back here. It's not like we can eat anything we grow in the yard anyways, because it'll be full of uh, dog pee. Sorry to put that image in your head, but it's true. That's why we can't grow anything in our yard. Britt does have her flower beds out front. So there's that. And she has her flowers up on hooks. Like as long as we keep them up and the dogs can't get to them. Now, yeah. what do you guys think of our, this is our little, little yard. We're not gonna invest too much into it, obviously because we have that land that we're gonna develop into our forever home, but this is gonna be our home for, who knows, like five plus years, however long it takes for us to get the money together uh, for a sizable down payment. I'd really like like a 50% down payment, at least on our, on our build that we're building. And uh, that's gonna take a while. So we've got a two bedroom house here, which is, it's plenty for us right now. We've got a nice fenced yard for the dogs, nice little area for them, some sheds and some storage. Uh, we got to redo the cover on that this summer yet because it's you can see I've been patching it on the top already. It's getting very brittle. Uh, a new cover for it is like 350 bucks from Canadian Tire. I'm just gonna go and pick one of those up later this year and get that done. For now, it's holding. I just don't think it's gonna hold through another winter. So I'd like to do that probably in fall time. Don't worry about that then. It's it's doing its job for now. Eventually, we want to get rid of that whole. That whole thing, it's a carport, uh, but we just use it as storage, right? Because we, we had to downsize quite a bit when we moved here, so there's some storage in there. But uh, what we want to do is get rid of that. And you see how it's built up there on the ground? It's higher than the rest of the yard. I'd like to, if we were to stay here, I would raise the rest of the yard up to be level with that. But like I said, I don't want to invest too much into this yard because I want to invest into our build. What we'd like to do though, an investment we would like to do is uh, take this carport down eventually and build a deck out over there and put a screened in gazebo right in that area there. Cause we have our sitting area up front here right now. It's sort of just a makeshift little, little sitting area. I can bring our cushions out again, I guess, cause the rain is done. But uh, yeah, you come out of the, come out of the door here and got a little outdoor eating table, got the barbecue, got our patio set. Yeah, it's, it's something right now, right? But we want to uh, probably build a deck up over this so that you walk out the door, probably come out onto a deck right here, and the deck will extend to where that is, because this is all nice packed ground already. Not that that matters, because you gotta, you get it. Put the deck right there, nice screened in gazebo so you can enjoy the outdoors, get some, get some sunlight, and uh, once the mosquitoes come, because they're coming, you know they're coming, once they come, you can enjoy the outdoors without getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. And you got the fire pit right there. You can enjoy it right from the screen. I don't know, I don't know. that's sort of my plan. That's really the only investment I want to do into this property, but that might change. I mean, five years is a long time. Our ideas might change, but either way, we still want to build. Right, Chevy? You still want to build. I want to build it so that you're still alive to enjoy it. We gotta get on it. He's four years old this July. He has the same birthday as Britt, July 25th. He's turning four years old. Wiener over there turns 11 this year. Diesel, wherever he is. Diesel, where'd you go? Diesel turns 10 in August. And Frank, we have no idea. We have no idea. You hear something? Everybody's doing their yard work. You mowing your lawn over there, man. Just like you. Just like you, man. I know. A long weekend means you get to go outside and play with your friends. Play with your <laughs> play with your friends. Play with your uh, you know, well, your your power tool friends. Right? And lawn mowers. But the day is so nice out right now. I want to stop blabbing back here right now. I want to get the bike out and go for a ride. I might run into Winnipeg and just cruise around for the couple hours. We found ourselves downtown Winnipeg in the Exchange District.
This is a very old area of Winnipeg from when Winnipeg was in its boom. It's got all these uh, 19th century buildings and stuff. And most of them have been very well preserved. Portage in Maine is just behind this car, car park. Here's the Richardson building right there. And there's Main Street right there. It's a beautiful day for a ride. I'm trying to figure out a better spot for a, a mount. These mounts I have on here uh, because they fit perfect with the curve curvature there but if I put you on there sideways I mean you'll be looking sideways like this which might be a cool view for some shots right but I'd like to have one where you're like looking at me and yes I know my helmet is uh this is my ATV helmet the helmet I have for this bike the nice closed face helmet uh I left it outside or well, where I stored it and uh, a mouse decided to make a home of it and there was a mouse nest inside my helmet. So, gotta throw it out. I was actually gonna buy a new helmet today, but it's Victoria Day, everything's closed. So we're just cruising around with this. <laughs> and there's that famous Winnipeg wind. Winnipeg was always known as Windy City of the North, sort of like Chicago's younger sister and much smaller sister. All right, let's see if we can make this man work. Diesel, look, look, I got my flip flops on. 
Very nice job. Very nice. Let me step on your feet. Very nice. What do you get? What's there? Was mom eating pizza on that chair? Wiener, how you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Nice flip flops. Very nice. Yeah. I know. The weather's beautiful out here. There's a wife over here. Oh, wait, there was. Oh, she's going back in. Frank, hey. Y'all left me inside. Knew you didn't love me. How was your day? Long and boring. boring. And I missed all the sunshine. It just wasn't fair. Yeah, she, uh, she had to stay inside at work most of the day while we went out and rode around a little bit. But you were impressed with the yard, yes? Hmm? Yes. Hmm? Spend some good man hours out here. These things are temporary, but for now they work. Just so that we don't have to worry about the wiener walking out. We'll figure it out. Frank. Oh. Pardon me, didn't mean to interrupt. Bathroom break. So our neighbor's lawn is like taller than my knees. Yes, I went and I weed whacked on my side of the, or on, along the fence on their side. So it'd be easier for them with their mower. Uh, whenever they, they want to get to that. Remember we were talking about how nice their lawn was? It is, it's very nice. And it grows very fast. <laughs> but they've been busy. Uh, they're working on those trees over there. They'll get to it. They're good people. They're just really, really busy. And our lawn doesn't really need to be mowed that much because the dogs pound it down. But uh, I did mow it today, so it's all even at least. And I got this back corner here. Oh, that's what I was going to the pickup for. I got to get the uh, trimmers to trim some of this. See? Got this flower bed all out of here. Got this leveled out here a little bit more. I think I showed you this before, didn't I? I'm showing it to you again. Is it that time, Chevy? Are you warming up my side of the bed for me? Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Such a good boy. Tomorrow's back to work, so uh, we've got a short week this week at least. It's Tuesday to Friday. And, uh, yeah. This was my weekend. We'll see you right here tomorrow again. we got some trucking to do. I'm hoping to be able to take the bike into work. At least once this week. I'd take it in every day if the weather was good, but I'm hoping that the weather will agree with me. At least one day this week would be nice. Because uh, I went past work on the way home today with the bike to see how much fuel it would take on the way home. So to go to work and back would be five bucks on my bike. Whereas on my uh, in my pickup, it's about 15 bucks. So I'd be saving 10 bucks a day taking the bike. It's just the weather is... Uh, refusing to warm up in the mornings and it's been raining a lot because it's may so we'll see what happens anyways chevy we'll see you guys tomorrow what you looking at Diesel, look, look, I got my flip flops on. Very nice job here. Now let me step on your feet.